What's up everybody? I am back again with another video and today we're going on a different reaction. Let me read the title real quick. <clears throat> Eminem versus Ye. Which one is richer? Y'all are like I haven't watched this before, so y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications and make sure make sure you don't miss another video and let's get into it. Besides being considered two of the greatest rappers of all time, Ye and Eminem are two powerful men who know how to enjoy life to the fullest. But have you ever stopped to think about who has the more luxurious life? In this video, you'll watch a fierce battle between Ye and Eminem. Luxury Shopping Both artists have more than enough money to buy whatever they want, but who has the more extravagant spending? Some of the most expensive items that Eminem usually spends money on are watches, such as a Rolex Day Date with an unusual gold nugget bracelet. This model was certainly customized, which makes it impossible to figure out its price. But the original version of this watch costs about $25,000. Another watch that the rapper owns is an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oquantine Perpetual manufactured in 1995 and its rarity justifies its price of $100,000. But his favorite watch brand is the G-Shock, with their watches being more sporty and cheaper. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you, I do fuck with the G-Shocks. Because sometimes I don't fuck, I just don't mess with the type of watches that, like, I'm gonna say this to you. I do like the watches that Eminem, like, I, ain't, I didn't know that he was wearing 100 Sorry about that. And back what I was saying, because you know what I'm saying, like I'm not gonna say this because I because like spending that kind of money is not that important. And I do like the watches that he wear, and I got I do fuck with the G Shocks. I even spend like a hundred dollars on every G Shock when I get when I buy a new outfit. And I ain't gonna lie to you, money is not more important than that. So let's go back to it. Eminem really does not leave humbleness behind. Something that Eminem makes a point of investing money in his comic books. He's a big collector, and he doesn't mind having to pay a lot of money on rare magazines, like Amazing Fantasy No. 15, a historical Spider-Man issue that can cost almost $500,000, depending on how well kept it was. Kanye West, for his part, is a collector of luxury watches and has a large collection of them. Among the models he has been seen wearing are an 18K gold Rolex President Day Date, a fairly basic and common accessory that costs around $30,000. A Tahitian Rolex Mother of Pearl with leather strap and Roman Mother of Pearl dial, which is worth around $34,000. A Rolex Cosmograph Rose Gold, valued at $42,000. A Rolex Submariner, a watch with a display and blue dial of great preciousness valued at $58,000. A Rolex Rose Day Date 2 Rose Gold with Diamond Details, an item worth over $60,000. A Cartier Crash Skeleton, a peculiarly shaped watch costing around $65,000. And finally, an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar model, made in 18K gold with a blue dial, a very exclusive watch valued at more than $200,000. Besides buying jewelry to achieve a stylish look, Kanye West also likes to please the people he loves. For his ex-wife Kim Kardashian, he has already bought a 20-carat diamond engagement ring valued at an impressive $4.5 million. And since he spends more money on his purchases, he wins this round. Point for him! Most Expensive Property Both rappers invest large sums in great homes, but who owns the most luxurious property? Eminem is speculated to have once owned a luxurious residence on Viewmont Drive in the city of Los Angeles, California. The property built in 2002 is 4,300 square feet in size and is in a prime location in the area with beautiful views of the city. Upon entering the place, it is possible to notice a modern and at the same time minimalist style, being that there are two living rooms in the residence, both integrating dining tables facing the glass walls. There is also a kitchen, for luxurious bathrooms with white porcelain tile floors and other rooms to contemplate the enchanting landscapes of the region, which make this villa a great choice for those seeking sophistication and tranquility. 
The house also has three bedrooms, all of which have glass walls that bring natural light into the interior, while the master suite has doors that open onto a deck, where there is a pool with infinity edges and breathtaking views. According to rumors, M&M sold the property in 2006, and the property is currently valued at $4,882,700. The house where Kanye West lived before his divorce from Kim Kardashian, on the other hand, is in Hidden Hills, California, United States. The property is a real palace that was designed following the Belgian minimalist architectural line, with very large and clean spaces. From the entrance hall, it is possible to see the concept that the influencer wanted to convey in this residence, causing an illusionist effect by having ceilings, walls, and floors of the same color. The furniture is usually very basic and simple, and this is exactly what makes the mansion eccentric and unique. The master bedroom is also huge and clean, being integrated with the true bathroom, an environment that has a large window that displays incredible landscaping with the entry of color and light to this space. Something that draws attention in the bathroom is the countertop without the traditional sink, having only one hole to drain the water. Quite peculiar, isn't it? Kanye West's closet has several- Okay, like, I'm not gonna- he's gonna say this, but like, I'm gonna say this, I wanna know what type of house is that, but like, I'm gonna say this too, I wanna never spend that kind of money, like, for that type of house. But I ain't gonna lie to you, but it doesn't even look right. Like the house that Eminem that he got, I like his house even more better though. But Kanye, but Kanye's, oh hell no, I'm not feeling that. No, oh hell no, that thing look terrible. Racks with his clothes on display, which makes it easier to choose clothes and get ready. One of the living rooms in the mansion has a piano and a fireplace to keep you warm on colder days. And the dining room would be no different with everything very white. The kitchen is one of the only rooms that stand out. With TD Complete Checking, Gina's ready to live her best life. Finding a job she loves. And out a bit from the others, with wooden cabinets, which makes it cozier. But there is also another more intimate and practical kitchen in the residence, where a team of chefs and assistants usually prepare meals. At the time it was purchased, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West paid about $20 million, but with all the renovations and changes, the mansion is now valued at $60 million. In other words, Yee wins this round. Cars! There's no doubt that both artists are completely passionate about beautiful cars, but who has the best vehicles? Eminem is discreet and doesn't usually flaunt his cars, but according to GQ magazine, he has owned the following vehicles. A $60,000 Aston Martin V8 Vantage from 2006. A $80,000 Porsche 996 Turbo from 1999. A $95,000 Porsche Carrera GT from 2004. A $110,000 Audi R8 Spider. A $150,000 Super Sportive American Car, the Ford GT from 2005. A $230,000 2012 McLaren MP4-12C. A $250,000 Ferrari 575M Maranello from 2003. A $277,000 Ferrari F430 Scuderia from 2008. A $300,000 Porsche 911 GT3 RS 4.0 from 2011. From the same brand, in 2019 Eminem acquired a Porsche 911 GT2 RS, a vehicle with a rather restricted production, having only 30 units produced, which justifies its $420,000 value. Some sources point out that he also once owned a 2011 Ferrari 599 GTO, one of the Italian super sports car brand's top-of-the-line models, which can be found on the market for sale for up to $500,000, depending on how preserved it is. Eminem finally got his hands on his own Lamborghini Aventador with 690 HP and capable of reaching a top speed of 270 Yo, oh my god. This nick, this nigga got money, damn! That's real. Like, I'ma say this to you, this nick, like, like this nigga Eminem, I told you man, this nigga been rich, he been got cars and shit. Damn! Oh my God! Damn! This nigga Bear Rich, 
This nigga been in the rap game for a long time. He been got money. He don't need to prove niggas. He don't have to prove niggas. His, he don't have to prove niggas that what he got or none of that shit. Eminem got good taste. Stop playing. Damn. Oh, God. Miles per hour. And to get it, the rapper spent about $560,000. Kanye West, on the other hand, does not skimp when it comes to buying vehicles. One of the cars he has been spotted using is a Porsche Panamera Turbo, a stylish sports car that costs around $180,000. The singer is a big fan of Lamborghini, and that is why he owns several models, such as a Gallardo, a big car launched in 2004 and considered one of the most beautiful in the world, which costs around $200,000. Another model is the Lamborghini Urus, a machine with a 650 horsepower engine capable of reaching a top speed of 190 miles per hour. No wonder this vehicle is worth around $200,000. Kanye West also owns a Mercedes McLaren SLR, a very exclusive super sports car that costs around $500,000. The rapper has already been spotted with a Lamborghini Aventador, a fast machine equipped with a 770 horsepower engine, capable of reaching a top speed of 217 miles per hour. And to own such a car, one needs to invest about $750,000. Another car that the singer owns is a rare Mercedes-Benz SLR Sterling Moss, a vehicle that can easily exceed the value of $1 million. And for having more valuable cars, Yi wins this round point for him other properties in this round we'll find out which of the two rappers has the more luxurious real estate portfolio eminem or ye unlike other celebrities who live in los angeles in upscale neighborhoods like the hollywood hills eminem prefers to live near detroit michigan the city where he grew up his current mansion built in 1996 is 8,900 square feet in size located in clinton township where Eminem can live quietly without straying from his roots. The mansion has a more rustic style, having a fountain at the main entrance and being surrounded by several trees. According to media reports, Eminem bought the residence in 2000 for the princely sum of $1,483,500. Raising the price further, the rapper owned another even larger mansion in nearby wealthy Michigan suburb of Rochester Hills. The contemporary architecture mansion that was built in 1986 is 17,500 square feet in size and sits on a 5.7 acre lot. Among the main rooms it has, there is the living room with wood floors and a marble fireplace, which integrates with the sophisticated dining room. There are also 10 bathrooms throughout the site, a kitchen with granite countertops, a modern billiard room, and six cozy bedrooms. Outside, there is a large wooded garden and a tennis court which is also used as a basketball court, as well as having a luxurious swimming pool, which is next to a patio and a lounge with several glass doors. There is also a lake within the lot, a cabin for relaxing in a 2,000 square foot guest house that features a spacious living room, a kitchen with wood furniture and other amenities. Before Eminem acquired the property, it was owned by former Kmart CEO Charles Conaway until the rapper bought the property in 2003 for $4,750,000. Meanwhile, officially separated from Kim Kardashian, Yeezy recently made a purchase that raised a lot of stories in the media, as it is located across the street from where his former wife lives, in Hidden Hills. The property was built in 1955, and has a country style, having one acre of total area and 3,600 square feet of living space. The single-story house has four bedrooms and 2.5 bathrooms, an open-concept kitchen that was renovated in 2005 with a center island. The architecture is very old, yet cozy. The house has a large grassy yard, with many trees and gardens that add to the aesthetics. And of course, the property would have to have a pool for Kanye to cool off with his kids on hot days, as well as a barn with three stalls and a paddock for strolling horses. Much has been speculated about the location of this purchase, but the choice was likely made for the rapper to stay close to his children. He paid in late 2021 for $0.5 million on the property, and the rapper may undertake renovations to update his new home. After the divorce, Kanye West moved away to live in his quieter country estate, where he used to spend relaxing days with his family, located in the town of Cody in the U.S. state of Wyoming. One of the farms has an impressive 1,800 acres and consists of several buildings to accommodate family and friends. 
Mira Large Lake, the ranch has a stunning view, where the influencer can rest and ride horses with her children. According to some sources, this rural acquisition by the former couple cost around $14 million. Considering the value of the properties, Yi wins this round as well. Point for him. DMV, did you know UMG seat tuition is low cost and you pay $0 for digital materials in most courses? Business. Both artists know how to diversify their income streams. But who has the more lucrative businesses? Eminem, for example, has companies under his name. To make his presence known in the tech business, Eminem is one of the investors in the Startup Maker's Place, a non-fungible token marketplace for buying and selling digital artwork and other creations. He even released his own collection of NFTs, including a video that sold for $100,000. In total, his collection raised $1,780,000 in just one day of sales. In actuality, Eminem is always promoting his NFTs on his social media, which reaches a large audience. After all, he has over 37 million followers on his Instagram. The exact amount of the rapper's investment in the company is unknown, but he was one of the angel investors at $30 million. And surely Eminem must be already seeing some financial return from it. By making use of his fame further, Marshall also sells other products in his online stores, such as shirts printed with his album's covers and CD and DVD kits. Another of the rapper's enterprises is his restaurant called Mom Spaghetti, which already has units in his hometown of Detroit and also- Like, I did hear, I did hear about Mom I I did hear that Eminem- that he really did open a spot in the Detroit called Mount Spaghetti. It's always my dream to go to Detroit and to go check out his restaurant. It made me it made me want to go there. Like for next vacation, I really wanted to go to Detroit and try out that new Mount Spaghetti at his at his restaurant. And I ain't gonna lie to you, cause I heard that multiple people were saying it was terrible. Like and sometimes I might be wrong. Sometimes I don't know what's going on. I don't know how it's to taste, but it tastes good, but it tastes bad, I don't care. And I, it doesn't matter to me. So in Los Angeles, in the music business, in 1999, he founded his own record label named Shady Records, which has signed contracts with big names like 50 Cent. Not to mention the money the rapper has already made from advertising. As an example, he has participated in campaigns for brands such as the automaker Chrysler, M and Ms. Chocolates, Brisk Ice Tea, among others. Meanwhile, West is a music producer for other artists and founded his record label Good Music in 2004. The company has already produced for big names in music such as John Legend, Big Sean, Tyga, and Travis Scott. However, one of his most famous businesses is his own fashion brand Yeezy, which brings giant financial returns for Kanye West. Actually, in 2013, the brand started a long-term partnership with Adidas, and together they launched footwear collections that have become true success stories in sales. To get an idea of value, I did hear about them Yeezys. I did hear, like, I did hear, because I did hear that he did put out I ain't gonna lie to you, the something like the, that the shoe that I just saw on that video, that shoe was kind of, I ain't gonna lie, the easies, I heard, I heard they're comfortable though. I heard they're comfortable though, but I just don't, cause I just don't fuck with them type of shoes that he, that he designed. Like, and I ain't gonna lie to you, like, them easies, it's just not my thing. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't mess with them damn shoes. Like, them shoes that don't. Like, if I find out, right, if I might get a chance to buy me a pair of Yeezys, I might just, um, might, because I might just, like, give them a try. If they feel comfortable, I don't got a problem with that, because, I ain't gonna lie to you, I heard Yeezys kind of went down before Kanye West's career kind of went down, like, kind of went downhill. Yeah, that's kind of my stuff. Let's go back and talk. Values, the rapper receives an average of 10% in royalties on the sale of sneakers from his partnership with Adidas, ensuring a return of up to $200 million every year. In addition, the entrepreneur has signed a $10-year billion partnership with the Gap brand, aiming to launch clothes together under the Yeezy Gap label. The rapper Yee is also the founder and head of the creative content company Donda, which works on producing music videos, albums, marketing projects, films, among others. In addition, 
He was once co-owner, along with other artists, of the streaming service Tidal, but everything indicates that he abandoned the project due to conflicts with the company's founder Jay-Z. The artist also owns the food company KW Food, which owns several fat burger fast food chains. And that's not taking into account Kanye West's other investments, like his stake in his ex-wife Kim Kardashian's schemes brand, among other stocks and financial assets. And since we don't know how much they earn from each business, we'll call this round a tie. Point for both. Net worth. Everyone knows that both artists are extremely wealthy and successful, but which one has the higher net worth? To give you an idea of the artist's relevance on the global stage, he has had 10 number one albums on the Billboard 200, which debuted consecutively at number one on the chart, making him the first artist to achieve that feat. There are more than 220 million albums sold, which gets him in the top nine best-selling artists of all time. Another major source of income for the artist are his world tours. The rapper has also a very successful story in digital platforms. With over 53 million subscribers on YouTube, he is the second most followed solo singer channel, second only to Justin Bieber. Some sources estimate that Eminem earns about $20 million per year, taking into account his earnings with music, such as concerts, CD sales, and streaming platforms such as Spotify. In the years when he's actively touring to promote an album, that figure can easily approach $30 to $50 million per year. Taking into consideration his rather stable 25-year-old career, we can quite conservatively speculate that his net equity, that is, after paying all taxes, is approximately $350 million. Singer Yi, for example, has won 21 Grammy Awards. And with this information alone you can tell that he knows how to make good music. In total, he has sold over 160 million records and toured making millions of dollars, but his greatest source of wealth is business. In a 2022 Forbes magazine story, Kanye West was ranked the fifth highest paid public figure, with estimated earnings of $235 million the previous year. While it is not known what Kanye West's true net worth is, Forbes magazine indicates it is around $2 billion, Damn. while other sources estimate that his net worth is actually much higher, and he is even considered the richest black person in America. According to the Bloomberg portal, for example, the rapper's net worth is $6,600,000,000, an amount that is spread across his various investments, such as his song catalog that includes the Good Music Company, valued at $80 million. His sales on the Yeezy website, valued at $100 million. His investments in real estate, valued at $120 million. Other assets, stocks, investments and earnings as a singer, estimated at $400 million. Dang. His partnership with The Gap brand, having a $1 billion contract and the market value of his fashion company Yeezy, valued by UBS Group AG at about $4,700,000,000. However, after his controversial speeches, Kanye West lost several contracts with brands, and as a result, his fortune decreased abruptly. Today, his net worth is estimated at $500,000,000. And for having a larger fortune, Ye wins this final round. Point for him. At the end of this battle, we had one point for Eminem against six points for Yee, making him the clear winner. But if you believe there are other arguments to support one of them, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, videos to satisfy your curiosity. Natural melatonin promotes sleep in as little as 15 minutes. That's faster than you can replay the Look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. Like, I'm gonna say this to you. I like first of all, I fuck with Eminem, but I just don't care that how much that how much money that he spends. I just don't. Like, and I'm gonna say this to you, right? And I'm gonna say this to you. Kanye West, Kanye West is worth five hundred million dollars. Yeah, he is over worth a lot of money. Ever since he lost a lot because he even lost a multiple name brand deals and shit because like it's just crazy to me. I don't care like if e Easy is making more money because 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 of Kanye West. 
because of Kanye because he putting he was out there getting more deals and like getting more money and also promoting the like promoting the shoes, the easies and everything. But and I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I fought with Eminem's taste. I fought with the properties, I fought with the watches, I even fought with the cars that he got. I don't care. But I just don't care because I don't care who's richer or not. Because no matter that shit don't matter to me. Because the only thing I already fuck with is Eminem. Because he's the only guy I always fuck with. So that's my so that's my opinion. So anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video. So y'all know do you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And I will see y'all guys in the next video. Peace.